Hi, I'm Scott Rogers. You can find me on Facebook at Scotty Rogers Live Music. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the Alesis Command uh, drum set. These are e-drums, uh, completely synthetic. Um, and I'm going to take a look at these and show you um, some of the hardware close up because that's where um, I think some of the videos have been uh, lacking is showing maybe some of the quality of the hardware. I have no idea at this point what that is. So um, we're going to do a box opening. Uh, I will keep that short and sweet as possible. And then we'll move on to the assembly. My background in music goes back 28 years of professional uh, playing uh, live. Uh, uh, but I'm a keyboardist, and um, so I've worked with a lot of hardware, stands, and things like that. Worked also in the lighting industry my whole life. So um, good hardware is important to me. This is really an economy set of drums. Uh, it certainly isn't their lowest entry level. Um, this is about a $700 set. Um, I purchased it. Uh, from uh, Sweetwater Sound in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, so we're going to open this up, take a look a little bit at the assembly, and then I'm going to give you my take on um, the quality of the hardware. And ultimately, we'll listen to it a little bit. I'm not a drummer. Um, I hope to uh, hone my skills for some of my recordings, some of my multi-tracking that I do. Um, I think it's one of the things that's been lacking for me when I lay down a track using... Uh, a drum machine and then build that track up nicely and there aren't some of those nuances and the dynamics that uh, you know drums that are actually played with sticks will do so that was my uh, motivation to invest in this set so we're going to take a look uh, at this unboxing and, and an overlook really is uh, or overview rather is really what uh, what we're going to do today Okay, um, I'm going to start with this. This is the kick pad. Alesis is calling this the Alesis Real Hat Pedal. An accessories box. This is the module, the brain of the unit. a 10 inch drum pad, an 11 inch drum pad, and then two smaller drum pads. Empty box, another empty box, three symbols, Looks small to me. I thought they were going to be larger. And then the rack box. So we've got nine uh, boxes of items. Uh, we'll go ahead and open those and see uh, what they look like. Alright, I've gone ahead and opened the box to the uh, kick pedal. Um, looks basic. Um, I have no history uh, with kick pedals. Um, it is interesting that this set includes a, a, a kick pedal though. A lot of the um, these under a thousand dollar sets are not going to include a pedal and uh, I believe the reason is because uh, drummers are picky about their pedals and um, I think you can spend a lot of money on a kick pedal. Um, and I may ultimately do that. We'll find out once I set this up and start playing. But uh, it's included, which allows you then to get playing right out of the box, even with the sticks. So, setting that aside, the final box is the uh, going to be the stand, essentially, the rig. Some people like chrome, some people like the black anodized. Um, I think I'm going to prefer the chrome in this case, not going to matter a lot to me. Um, 
I think Chrome uh, can get a lot of fingerprints on it, and that may be a reason some people don't like it, but it is usually an upgrade from uh, just painted or, or anodized metal. And really, this is the area I think is most important to me to talk about because it's, it's what this video is about is maybe what's in this box here. Um, experienced drummers are I interested in this, but also this here. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, everything is a little smaller than I had expected from the videos that I had watched. Um, that's not a negative thing. Um, I like that it's compact. Um, with reasonable aim, I would think that these sizes are fine. Um, but here we're going to examine uh, the hardware. And I think when it comes to drums, uh, even acoustic drums, or maybe especially acoustic drums, um, the quality of the set often is in the hardware. Uh, cheap drums are going to have uh, softer metal, um, a lot of plastic, and um, this is where maybe, maybe this set could shine. We'll see. Tubular steel for the frame. This one has uh, some hardware pre-installed on it. I don't know if that is obvious, but so there's a, a uh, appears to be uh, a high density plastic. Some of the uh, symbol risers um, looks looks decent. Um, let's take a look here. Clamps down firmly without too much pressure. I like that. And a second symbol accessory. And the base hardware um, with the uh, with the foot on it um, looks nice. Um, plastic um, knobs um, onto uh, what I think is metal. Um, I'm not a huge fan of plastic knobs, um, but in this case, uh, for a lightweight set, uh, may be totally adequate. Now they've put these, some of these, in red plastic, and uh, that may be um, to help uh, with assembly. If you've never assembled one before, I'm thinking that may be what they uh, they're doing here. I can't imagine another reason. So I will set those with the red bag in case that's the. Uh, situation. And the final tube. All right. This is uh, what I've been waiting for is to see if these hardware clamps look decent to me. Hard to say. You know, the, screw, the screws and springs and washers are all metal. Um, everything else um, is plastic. The nut is also metal, uh, but everything else is plastic. And that may be uh, a non-issue. Um, this is not an expensive clamp, I would say. Um, I did not expect, um, you know, a $40 clamp uh, on a $700 set. Probably not something you would take on the road. Um, I would say this is probably aimed, uh, well not probably, it is aimed at uh, an entry level. And uh, that's right where I want it to be. Um, if I 
become uh, adept uh, at the uh, percussion, I would probably, um, you know, go to a, 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 a set above this. I do like the uh, the small size of anything because I think it's going to be very portable. Um, if if I need to to do it, that I don't think really that I'm going to um, be transporting these anywhere. But it's nice to know that I could. So we'll count the clamps. Looks like there are five. I have not checked to see if re replacement clamps are available or their cost. Um, also the breakout cable that goes from the drums to the uh, brain of the hardware, I would think that uh, a spare breakout cable would probably be something that I'd want to own um, if I was doing anything that was pressing. Uh, my recording you know, if something stopped working, I could put that off and begin recording again uh, at a later date. Um, if you're going to perform live, I would think that a spare breakout cable would be necessary. Let's look at it. As I uh, did some research on drums, you know, the, the upper level uh, drums are going to have um, an output for every drum and every pad and every um, cymbal. Um, so you could change out those cables um, with ease. In a, a situation like this where there's a breakout cable, uh, it's a different situation. Um, you have a number of, of, uh, of jacks that you can you know, plug into the drums, but just this single um, input into the brain. So you know, if you had a pin uh, damaged or, or something like that, you're kind of out of business. Um, but you're going to expect that in these sub $1,000 kits. Um, that's something that I found out after some research and uh, you know Elise's website is pretty good with the photos of the unit and I realized then when I saw the back of the unit that there weren't you know enough um, inputs for the number of drums and cymbals there were. At that point I realized that uh, a breakout cable was used. Um, it's on the bottom, uh, which is something I did not see. Um, I was wondering where it was because I had a view of all four sides and the top, but I had not seen an image of um, this here, the back. So I'll let you see that and we'll do a close up on that as well. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the set. Uh, that I'm not going to record. Uh, once this set is um, assembled, I'm going to give a little bit of a review as to my opinion of uh, the ease as uh, to how it went and uh, how long it took. So at this point, I've assembled the framework. Um, it took about 10 minutes to uh, figure it out. Uh, the diagram is, uh, does not have a lot of uh, uh, instructions, uh, mostly visual. Um, not, not terribly difficult, though. So we'll mount the uh, module at this point. And the first part of that is going to be feeding the breakout cable through the slot in the hardware. And uh, you're going to want to do that one wire at a time. They're not going to fit otherwise and then we're going to kind of weave it in there and work it around the back. Not, uh, not too terribly difficult but it takes a little bit of manipulation here. Pull back and forth. If there's a better way, um, certainly I'm open to uh, suggestions. So, at this point, uh, we'll notice that there are um, three adjustable screws. Um, two are shorter than the other. And I'm thinking that the third one is going to go toward the back because it has to reach farther. So I'm going to pre-set uh, those. And I'll let them go ahead and fall all the way through. So they're in there at this point. I'm going to turn it back over. 
and line things up. Being careful not to uh, do any harm to the pins on the breakout cable itself. So you can get that in there. Definitely want to be careful here not to um, cross thread anything. If anything isn't tightening easily, then you want to back out and uh, try to reset. So I'm going to tighten those all the way down. You can tighten them down even um, tighter with a flathead screwdriver, but I don't think that uh, I would suggest that. There's a knurled um, finish on this, so you'll be able to um, thumb tighten that, and it's very solid. So we'll go ahead and tighten that down and move on to the next uh, next item. So as promised, we're going to take a look at the uh, the clamps, and this was the area that uh, I really couldn't get uh, much information on prior to purchasing these. Um, I was a little leery um, that a $700 set of drums would have, um, you know, $50 clamps, and they're not. Um, However, they do uh, appear to be very adequate. Um, they tighten down firmly and they do not appear to be uh, moving at all. Um, the, the, the screw actually that uh, uh, holds the unit together is, is handled by a plastic turn knob, but it is uh, a metal bolt uh, into a metal um, nut and there is a washer uh, to uh, reduce friction. So that's firm and strong. Um, I don't expect that unless this was really over tightened that you would have an issue uh, with stressing that uh, nylon type of plastic. Um, it's not something you're going to uh, take on the road necessarily uh, for a length of time. Um, it's not a $50 clamp and you wouldn't expect that on a, a $700 set of drums. There are uh, one, two, three, four, five, about half a dozen clamps. So, um, you know, they've got to economize somewhere here um, and the trade-off uh, is going to be uh, in some of the hardware. The other hardware, let's take a look at that that if we can. We'll try to get a little bit of a more focus on that. Um, the other hardware is uh, exceptional um, at this price point. Um, it's a nice chrome uh, uh, hardware and uh, you know it, it's all chrome. Uh, the, the knobs to tighten down um, are, are chrome as well and really I don't think that there'll uh, be any issue with those at all and uh, so I was pleased to see um, that all chrome there. All right, I've got the um, rig put together. I uh, have not uh, run the wires yet from the uh, uh, module, but uh, it took about uh, a half an hour. Um, would not take that long next time. Um, I'm not positive that I have the clamps um, exactly how they're supposed to go. It's a little confusing, frankly, on those, and I expected it to be. Um, the clamps are decent quality. Um, I am thinking that uh, if an upgrade is available if these are um, standard sizes uh, that I would probably do that at some point. Um, the chrome is decent. It looks like it, uh, it probably even though that these uh, clamps are a plastic, it, they probably are still going to cause some wear on that chrome. I think I've uh, done some scratches already. but. Uh, that wouldn't affect anything other than cosmetics. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, wiring and make those connections and then we'll take a look at uh, uh, how that all uh, configures. Okay, at this point I've added the uh, carpet underneath the set so that the uh, drum pedal and the uh, uh, hi-hat pedal won't slide away. Um, they both uh, have uh, high quality hook and loop material on the underside and as well as spikes if uh, needed. 
and uh, I do not uh, anticipate needing the spikes on this uh, carpet here because the hook and loop fabric is very aggressive. Um, the breakout cable uh, to the um, to the various elements of this set um, was very easy to uh, connect. Each one is labeled, and as long as you know the names of each uh, unit, uh, a snare versus a bass drum, a hi hat. So for those that uh, aren't uh, established drummers uh, but just looking to get a set. I'm going to go over a couple of things. Um, this is the crash symbol and it is chokeable, meaning that you can hit it, it crash, and you can stop it right there and it mutes. Um, that's very nice and commonly it's a technique that is used in drumming. The ride symbol is not. Um, it will not stop ringing if you grab the edge. Um, Hi-hat uh, also has an excellent control and that's all wired so it's it's immediate and in real time. Um, the toms and the um, snare um, have a, an edge or a rim that gives you a different sound than the, uh, the drum itself. Now, I have not tried the toms yet to see what the rim I get with a rim, but I know that the snare gives you an excellent rim shot sound. Um, again, for my recordings, um, this is going to sound better than any set that I could mic. Um, and for purists, they are not wild about synthetic drums, uh, uh, particularly the cymbals. Um, and the purists are not going to necessarily like these kind of cymbals. I'm going to tell you that in my recordings, um, no one's going to be able to tell the difference, um, particularly when you've got six other instruments playing along. Um, great starter set. Um, I would, would endorse this set. For